YouTube just released a new analytics tool that we can use to get higher watch time on our channels. Whether you're a small channel or a large channel, high watch time is essential for your success. So this brand new tool that you can use to get a higher watch time, which no one seems to be speaking about, is a big deal. Now, because this tool is new, it's kind of broken, but there is a way to still get it to work. So this video is going to show you what that brand new tool is and how to actually get it to work. So let's set the stage first. There's two ways that you can increase watch time on YouTube. The first is simply uploading more videos per month, which will get you more views per month, which will increase your watch time per month. And the second way is by getting better at keeping your viewers watching each of your videos for longer. Now I know what I prefer, but which of those two options do you think is the best way of getting your watch time up? While you're thinking about that, let's just explore option two for a second. If you get every viewer that watches your videos to watch for 50% longer, then that's 50% more watch time your channel is getting every month without you doing any additional work. So I'd argue option two is the best way to get watch time up on your channel. And that's exactly what this new analytics tool helps us to do. We can see how long viewers are watching our videos by clicking into that video's analytics, clicking the engagement tab and scrolling down to see the retention chart here. And when we scroll along this graph, we see what percentage of the total people that started watching this video are still watching at any moment during that video's runtime. And when we see a big drop like this from 100% to 80% in the first 10 seconds, we know that we lost 20% of viewers in those opening 10 seconds. So by using this old analytics tool, we can find moments within our video that we need to improve on next time to get better at keeping people watching during those times. But I've just got that retention graph up for a different video to show you a problem that exists with this old tool. We'll see moments in this video where the percentage of viewers dropped and then spikes back up and then drops again and goes back up and goes down and goes up. And what those moments in the old tool show us are that during the times where the line drops steeply, there's a mixture of people both leaving the video altogether or skipping forwards ahead in the video because they're bored. And that's simply what the latest spikes are. They're the moments where people stopped skipping and started watching the video again. So this tool has a problem in how it shows us this data. We can't tell the difference between if people are leaving the video altogether or just simply skipping ahead because they're bored. If people are skipping ahead in our video, it's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. But if people are leaving our video altogether, people leaving a video sends a bad signal to YouTube telling YouTube that our videos are bad. And it should be our top priority to fix moments like this when people leave our videos altogether. But the new YouTube analytics tool doesn't have this problem at all. It's great. You find it by clicking see more under the existing retention graph. Click on this drop down box and select detailed activity and scroll down. And here we have the new tool. Let me show you how it works. What this tool does is it shows us exactly how many people in total started watching the video. So I can see here a thousand people started watching this video. And then throughout the video, it shows me the exact number of people that stopped watching the video at that exact moment. So we can see here at two seconds in 44 people clicked off the video at the two second marker. We skip forward to the 17 seconds in, 22 people left at this time. Because this new tool shows us that people actually left rather than just skipped, what we can do to get better at keeping people watching is we can find moments in the video where lots of people left. So let me go to here where 10 people left at three minutes, 24. Then I can go up to the video and find exactly what I was doing at the three minute and 24 second marker to see what people hated so much. So at three minutes, 24, I reopened my laptop here. So people might not like me opening my laptop, but you can find these moments and see what you said, what you were doing. Were you maybe coughing or doing something else that was annoying that causes people to leave? And then you make sure you don't do that in future videos to increase the watch time of each of your individual videos. And that's why this new YouTube analytics tool is great because by making those changes on a video by video basis, that's what is going to increase our total watch time across our channel as a whole on a monthly basis. But if you remember, I did say this tool is broken. You can see here that for most of the videos I tried to use this new tool on, it didn't show me any data for each video at all. And then I saw this message here that gave me a bit of a clue why that was. It says something about only having information after January 23rd, 2023, which makes sense because it is a new tool. But what I eventually realized that meant is that you can only get the chart up on videos that you publish to your channel after January 3rd. Any videos that went live before then, you can't get any of this new data for, which isn't great for me because my videos recently haven't been getting many views. So I haven't got much data showing up in this new chart. You can see it's 
quite small little lines here. But that's why this new tool is so great because using it is going to lead to an increase in watch time on my channels and my clients' channels, which is going to lead to more YouTube views. And on that note, high watch time alone isn't the only thing you need to guarantee a lot of views on YouTube. I got the biggest YouTubers I know recently to tell me the exact channel data they always check to make sure they go viral on YouTube. And I put all of their answers into this video, so give that a watch next to help you get more views on your channel.